Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to clean your brushes and your beauty blenders. So first thing you're going to do is take a bowl and baby shampoo. I have my brushes in a wipey container because I just have a lot of them. And Dawn antibacterial soap and extra virgin olive oil. So And also a dry towel to put your brushes on. So you're going to get your bowl, and then you're going to get the extra virgin olive oil. Just eyeball it, however much you need. And the olive oil is going to help take all the dirt out of the brushes. The baby shampoo is used for conditioning your brushes, making them small, soft and smell good. And the Dawn antibacterial soap is to basically disinfect your brushes. And if you only use antibacterial soap, it kind of dry up your brushes, so the olive oil with conjunction with the baby shampoo help out the brushes. Then you're going to take your brushes and swivel it in, each one, and you can put them to the side if you'd like. Then you get a brush, dip it in the solution. You turn on your water, make sure it's warm. Not too hot or too cold, just warm. You're going to swivel the brush in your hand, make it lather, and then wash it under the faucet, your sink. Keep swiveling and make sure you get all the soap out, all the dirtiness, all the makeup. Turn it off, squeeze out the excess, and you put it on your towel to dry. Lay it flat. And you keep doing this step over and over again and don't forget to not wet past the barrel or wash your brushes facing upwards so the water won't sink in through that silver part, which is the barrel of the brush. Because if it does that, it will lose its tackiness. So here I'm continuing to do it. I'm using like an angled brush. Now I'm cleaning because see all the eyeliner coming out. And that's where the olive oil comes in. It really helps take out all the buildup in the brushes. And especially you, after you keep doing it, you could dip it in the solution as many times as you want. Just as long as you get it clean and you're satisfied with how your brush looks and feels. And just make sure you don't have any excess soap in the brush. Because later if you leave soap in the brush, you could see it when you're applying your makeup later on when it's dry. There you go, a nice clean brush. So I'm taking the Clorox wipes. What I'm doing with this is, you since you're cleaning your brush, you need to clean all your brush. So I'm using those because they disinfect, and I'm disinfecting the actual handle and taking all the gunk off. If you saw, now it's all white. And before it was really, really dirty. So <clears throat> I'm going to keep doing that to all my brushes. Just keep cleaning them the handles after when you get your beauty blender the same thing you just dip it in the soap and then lather it in your hands and just keep squeezing it and make sure that the soap and olive oil and the baby shampoo is all inside the beauty blender and if you squeeze it you can see all the foundation coming out all the makeup so just turn on your water again make sure it's warm and just squeeze it out. Fill it up, squeeze it out, fill it up, squeeze it out. Then once you squeeze out all the water up there, squeaky clean. And if you could compare the beauty blenders, that one's really dirty and that one's clean. And if you were asking why it's all ripped, my beauty blender, my dog did it. Yeah. Because <laughs> I left my brushes on the floor after cleaning them and they bit it. So these are my brushes and the beauty blenders all nice and clean. And yeah, that's all you got to do. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys soon.